Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 25. Jeez, 25. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff. I know where you all live. Yeah, Part 25. Well, this is a long game. I expected it to be... I, I'm guessing it's going to probably go maybe 35 to 40 parts at most, maybe. Hey, everybody, this is Ron Moore with Part 100. Whoa, hold on. I barely heard you. You went low there. Oh, I was trying to trying to do your voice. I can't do it very well though. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, Ron Moore, and God bless you. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> we're on part 400. I'm 67 years old, but we're gonna finish this. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how long it's taken my Oracle seasons for a while. I'm still on part 11, uh, working on part 11. <laughs> really? Yeah, probably because uh, it's it's yeah, just other stuff getting getting in the way, and then Twilight Princess is more fun to work on. Because it's like dual commentary, not just me. That's a good point. I can understand you there. Alright, so now I'm talking to... Uh, back in... Uh, I forgot his name. Tatanka's house, whatever his name is. And, okay, now I got. I have to show her this uh, relic or whatever it is to try to get her memory back. Because remember, this is the girl with amnesia. I don't know if you're familiar with what's going on here. I, I have no clue. I'm just... I'm here for the experience, mostly. Yeah. Okay, hopefully she's remembering who Link is here. I wonder if they actually, like, have some kind of science division and they just clone Links. Like, they just have vats of Links waiting. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, she remembers. Finally! Jeez! He looks more girlish than usual. Yeah. In this moment. <laughs> Your horse is just like, whatever, I just... Yeah, he's like... And she's like, yay! She remembers. <laughs> I quit horsing around. Uh, oh, snap. Looks like they're about to fall in love. Is he supposed to be, is he supposed to be in love with Zelda? <laughs> yeah, what, what's going on there? I thought he wanted to bone Zelda. Yeah, <laughs> Doesn't seem right. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? That's a uh, Mr. Miyagi as a Goron. Ah, uh, I forgot about Gorons. They're creepy. Go back to your own land. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna build a wall to keep the Gorons out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, more sentimental music. Another sentimental moment. How is that floating? What is going on? You're a witch. Burn her. Okay, so now you can call Epona from anywhere, not just where you find that grass where you whistle with it. Uh, well, I'm sorry to tell you, lady. I was actually going to go do stuff with the princess. You know, she promised a little more than what you could promise, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and here, wait, wait. Yeah, you're just a farm girl. She's a princess. Then again, it could yeah. be a plot twist where the the guy uh, falls for the the servant right, rather than the princess or the queen. <laughs> Good point. Darn confusing games. They all confuse me. Yeah. The heavenly messenger. Hmm. Is that ISIS? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Oops. Now, now, now the NSA is listening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we got another Jeff over here. All right. What's he talking about this time? Well, he mentions ISIS for one minute, and then that's it. Yeah. Nice right, to talk to. Tatanka, go make me some trucks. Yeah, we said that. I think the last part. Uh, we're, well, we're, damn it! We're, <laughs> I wasn't here. <laughs> no, the co uh, one of the wrestling commentators there that. There was a restaurant named Tatanka, and Bobby Heenan goes, you know, when I was a kid, no, someone else had said that, uh, Rod Bartley from Raw from 1993. He goes, yeah, I loved uh, the, I loved his toys when I was a kid. Like, what are you talking about? The Tatanka toys. Like, no, that's <laughs> Tonka. <laughs> wow. You talk a big game. I fail. <laughs> Back to Hyrule Field. <laughs> I, 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 I told Tibbs this. Uh, 
Everybody's playing and including Tibbs and talking about Breath of the Wild. I'm over here playing Twilight Princess. Playing. Oh God. Damn it, that boy wants me again. I don't like when you ride on my back. <laughs> yeah. All right, and this is where we. Well, what are you doing? You hit. This is where we had that famous joust battle with one of the big sweat hogs. <laughs> This is this reminds me a lot of Metal Gear Solid Five right now, calling up D Horse. They t they ripped off Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> we get to hear the awesome night music again. Of course. Perfect. Stop hitting it with your spurs. It's too much on a horse. Yeah. Whoa, as the game loaded right there for a second. I know that was weird. It, it's it's so inferior. Nintendo doesn't know what to do anymore. Yeah. Whoa, you're on fire. You know, I mean, this, game is, this game is big. I cannot imagine how big Breath of the Wild is. Actually, I think it's only like four gigs. I don't know. Tips will know that. I have to double check on that, but the cartridges don't hold very much, actually. And I mean, you, gotta, you can download some, but I think it's about four gigs. They managed to compress a lot on four gigs, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, they had to switch it up. Uh, hey, the Switch is selling great right now, but there's, other than Breath of the Wild, there's not really many games. Yeah, well, it's just the but beginning. I know, but where's your launch titles? You should at least have five good, like, you know, really down, you know, awesome launch titles. Here's Mr. Miyagi's wife. Mrs. Miyagi. <laughs> oh, very original with the name, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Captain Obvious. If you, you use your sword, you can cut stuff. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm imagining you dressed up like Captain Obvious from the commercial. With a Skid Rogers voice. Yes. Yes. All right, Mester, Mester to the heavens. I like how they improvise words in red or certain colors when talking about somebody. Guarded the book. The book. The book. You got the ancient sky book. A book written in the ancient sky language. A crucial word, and it it is missing some characters. Ah, uh, you're missing some characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, suffering builds character if you don't shut up. Oh, snap. Well, unfortunately, you know, you're like a thousand miles away from me, yeah. so... Sky riding. <laughs> Wait, what are you gonna... You're gonna write, die, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna um, see it in Illinois. Yes, Illinois. Because you're from Come Chicago... On. Oh yeah, we're we're all from Chicago. Yeah. Uh, we we all shoot each other. I wish there was a DJ just so I can go to Illinois one night and say, "Yo, yo, Chicago, make some Illinois." <laughs> See, I don't mind that. We were going to uh, we we've done some uh, fan we've done some uh, home movies in the past, little amateur movies. We wanted to do a suspense thriller called Illinois. Yeah, <laughs> that'd nice. be pretty interesting. I remember these wrestlers, Agent Christian. Sometimes they would go into different towns to get the town's names wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great. I think they're in Louisville, Louisville Kentucky. Yeah. And, and Christian goes, "It's great to be here with our fans here in Louisville." <laughs> it must well, start well, no, I mean that, that's how it's pronounced. I say Louisville, but everybody in Kentucky says Louisville. That that's yeah. not a word. That's I think, you just uh, slurring. I, I think uh, Jericho was in. I can't say it. Terra Terra Haute, Indiana. Yeah, Terre Haute. He Terre goes, Haute. is it great to be here in Terry Haute? <laughs> <laughs> Terry Haute. Oh, come on. I can't even say Terre Haute. Jamie would be like, hey, hey, don't, don't diss my state. Well, well, most of Indiana sucks, except for, like, central Indiana's okay. Oh, Jamie is coming after you. No, that's about where he lives in central Indiana. That's uh, a good area. That's fine. The north and the south suck. All right, so Link here is going to learn another song as we play a game with the cats where you got to find 20 cats. Just to play a game with them. There better be a good reward. I'm guessing a heart piece. Oh, yeah. How are you someone, howling? Someone should hack into this game and, and you can hum the Wolfpack theme. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a wrestling joke. The NWO Wolfpack theme. Dun, 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 dun. And then, like, you unlock uh, some of the NWO members, including Hollywood Hogan. No, they're going to put Pepe's theme in here to piss off the SJWs. <laughs> Pepe from uh, Napoleon Dynamite? No, it's it's a little uh, frog that's supposed to symbolize racism, but it doesn't. But for some reason, SJWs think it does. Oh, yeah, I think I, I said Pepe. I'm thinking of Pedro. Yeah. That's yeah, racist. Pedro's. We're not, we, we don't all have the same name, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, you live in Texas. I'd be careful with that. Yeah. 
I mean, SJWs or the ECW? No. Well, no, I don't know where the SJWs. I know where some of them are. I can, I can, I can give you a list, man. <laughs> yeah, well, just about to put you on the list. <laughs> I might. I'm probably already on a list because I'm, I'm a white straight male. We're both on the list, man. Yeah. Well, let me be straight with you and tell you that Link is learning another song here. Why do you have a chain on you still? He's still he's that, chain, that chain is still chained to him. I know. Chain. I don't. I don't get it. You, 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 there should not be a chain. Well, chain. I mean, you're probably not familiar with the beginning of the game, but he's uh, mid another that spirit that's been um, uh, always on his her right here. She <laughs> freed. She freed him from uh, when she was uh, in prison in the dungeon of the Hyrule Castle at the yeah. beginning of the game, and so. That's that's why he still has that around his ankle, but it's it's kind of it's slightly distracting, I guess. Like, is it still like that part of it is still attached to him? Oh, okay. Cool. That, I mean, that's why it's still. I mean, but for you, you're not familiar with what happened. That's why he has that around his ankle because he was chained earlier in the, in the beginning of the game. Also, are you talking to a mother effing chicken? Right. Yeah. The, Colonel Sanders. Uh, he got mutated. Uh, he got cursed. And he's, uh, he's if I was chicken. that fox, I would probably eat that chicken just right now. Just. Like you look good. Well, this is a a, a good fox or fox a wolf. Mm -hmm. Foxy lady. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, wait! Oh, third party uh, ad. <laughs> oh, oh, nope. There we go. Yep. Google's like, nope. Yeah. You can't do this. Man, the software must really be sensitive if it did do that, based on right. my, my uh, uh, impressions from my mouth. Down, 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 down. Copyright protected. No. No, I had I had a reviewer when he when he came back to YouTube after he was on Blimp for the longest time because Blimp was a piece of garbage and closed down. Uh, he 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 used to like do uh, he used to put songs in his reviews a lot to make fun of a point. So he replaced all of it with him singing the song. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, man. while while Link uh, screws around uh, instead of trying to save Hyrule here, we could talk a little bit more about Blimp because I do feel. I did use Blip in hopes of generating some revenue, which I did, which is only like ten dollars. But then I only got seven dollars out of it because of PayPal charges being sent, the check being sent through the mail. I think um, I think I made twenty five, but that was because I had a, I had extra posters posting and stuff. And but Blip like did this thing where they're gonna get rid of everybody's account unless they make real money. So I was one of the accounts that got deleted, including Star Soldier. And we got I think. And I was trying yeah. to download uh -huh. all the videos to re-upload on YouTube, and for some reason, the NES 20, the NES, uh, no, not the 30th, the NES 25th anniversary podcast ended uh -huh. up getting lost. Now, I think it's lost forever now because there was an error, and you had 30 uh -huh. days to download all the files from Blip and move it to your computer. Um, uh -huh. And they can figure it out. I said, thanks a lot. Now this file is lost forever because you guys want to get rid of my account and everybody else's account that's not generating enough revenue, which is kind of dumb. I mean... Uh, you should still keep those accounts around. I mean, that's why uh, you have ads. That makes sense to me. I don't understand. Yeah, and then they close down. I'm like, well, that's that, well, I can't feel sorry for you. That's what you get. And I remember Rich or Vitek USA talking about, uh, you know, it's sad they closed down because it's where some people got their start, and and the people that were making real revenue can't make revenue there anymore. So, I mean, I do feel bad for those people, but at the same time, I mean, blip, they, I guess, barely were a blip on the radar and. Oh right. no, they, they really were like they tried. I I, I loved it. All those people at uh, that guy with the glasses really thought it was the n big shit, the newest thing. This is gonna be great. And I mean, I thought that might be a chance, but with YouTube getting so big, you know, by maybe like the third year of Blimp, you knew it was over. Yeah, well, I think Mastran tried tried me, uh, uh, talked me into trying it out. Like I I I like the idea. Like okay, I, I'm I'm semi popular. You know, you're semi popular. Let's maybe we can you know do something with this. And... Yeah. Well, I don't know. Me, I barely I barely am a blip on the YouTube gaming community radar. <laughs> the only reason I'm friends with a lot of them. That's mostly my reason. Yeah. All right, and oh, fail. Dumbass, get up there. Yeah, so again, forget about saving Hyrule. Let's just play these uh, side quests here. <laughs> I mean, they do uh -huh. aid you on your quest, though, but still. It just seems silly. Like, if, I know it's just a game, but I saw a meme on Facebook where someone said, All right, Link, go save Hyrule. And it shows them doing these side quests, and, and oh, they're looking at them like, Link, really? We need you to save us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, 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 need to, we need you to hurry up. Stop, stop fucking around. 
Yeah, I need you to say Power Roll by 3 p.m. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I got the message from that guy today. Ronnie, it's been since December. I need you to finish this LP. Okay. <laughs> Freaking Lundberg. Lundberg. There ain't nothing, though. I've had LPs that have lasted uh, the longest one to this day, still Ocarina of Time, about three years. Um, Yoshi's Island, nine months. Mario All Stars, nine months. That's because it's all, I finished all the games in one card. Yeah, you, still, you did the whole thing. And that makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean. I understand, like, not many people complain, but, like, uh, I've noticed you know, on my own, like, uh, man, it's t sometimes it takes me forever to get certain LPs done, but at least it adds longevity to the channel, so I guess yeah, I mean, yeah, nothing well, else. If you play in those kind of games, you, you can still find things to talk about. Like, the only thing I could think of to do a long, like, like 100 or 200 part long play, this is Jeff with uh, the 105th part of Hearts of Iron 4. Like, yeah, uh, oh, we're really fighting those Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> out of like my episode five you'd be out of things to talk about i remember years ago i saw a let's play it says uh okay a game called mother three i think it's like a sequel to earthbound or something yeah it's like it's japanese yeah sequel yeah. i didn't watch the whole lp but i stumbled upon the title of the video it said mother three part 83 I'm like wow that's a long game either that or he's just really dividing it into a different uh, 10 minutes each or something it, it might be uh hmm, sorry it might be like ad bait like, come on, be. click on it. You know you want to. Yeah. I don't. I I don't have Ad Walker on just because I I don't mind. If I'm watching a channel I like, I'd like to support them with ads. The only reason why I have Ad Blocker is because uh, like, like there, there's certain websites I go to that I frequent. Oh, it, 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 here, here's the thing. It pissed me off. It redirects me. A big ad redirects me, and to really? another website, and I gotta click back and then. Oh, it's frustrating. Like, this is why people get ad blockers. It's ridiculous. I, I get that on my phone sometimes, but I never have to worry about it on my computer. I've never had that issue. But, um, so, uh, so uh -huh. I, I just talked to the 20th cat. You talked to 20 cats already? Damn. Yeah, you know, just to say hello. All right, I'm number one, number two, all right, number three. And now I'll talk to this person. I guess orchestrated the game. Here's my prize. Yep, a heart piece. I knew it. It's definitely a piece of somebody's heart. Yeah. You, oh, you take, you're you taking human hearts. It's pretty effed up. Yeah. Well, are they human hearts? I'm sure they are. You're getting I, the I hearts know, I, of something. Yeah. That's not what a heart looks like. A heart looks like... The, a, a real heart is the heart in contra. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah, I guess you're... Oh, God, yeah, you're right. Oh, boy. Yeah, now, Red, Red Falcon, say what you want about him, but he had a big heart. <laughs> Until I broke it to a million pieces. Oh, oh Ronnie. I destroyed his heart. For shame. Back to Crackhead Village again. Crackhead Village again. No, Kakarika Village. Oh, okay. Uh, for years I thought it was Kakariko Village. Because when I was a kid, you try to you yeah. pronounce whatever the heck it is. And then, you know, years later you see on YouTube or uh, videos the right way to pronounce it. I mean, I've heard of... Instead of Magus, it's supposed to be Magus. And oh, yeah, Magus. Being, It'll being, always be Magus, though. Like, you know, technically, a lot of people don't like to pronounce the name technically. They want to pronounce it, I guess, the way they have grew up pronouncing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Or or it'll be... Da -da -da, da -da -da Japan. Never gets old. Uh, the gaming historian again? The gaming historian. <laughs> I think Neil wouldn't be very happy you saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine him just busting out with a video talking bad about me. So there's this loser named Ron Moore, or Ron Blower. <laughs> no, did you ever get a chance to meet him back when he was first starting out? He's like the, he's a really he's one of the nicer ones still. Oh, cool. But uh, like well he was smart. He got on with Retroware early because they liked his concept, which was a great concept. You know who else is with Retroware? I think. Who's Go that? Goemon. Really. Yeah, I think that's so. Cool. Along Good with for the, him. That's the that's the click with the H H V G N in them, right? Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah, does I, the, I think Goemon is with them. Yeah. Does the H V G N still do videos? I haven't watched him in a yeah, couple but, years. Yeah, but not as H V G N. Um, oh, see, he, I, he, I liked his concept. Like he's like happy things, and I enjoyed watching his reviews. Yeah, but I think like he he explained in a video where in 2013, 2014, it was time to put H V G N to rest for a certain reason, like. I guess that it ran its course, but he still does reviews as uh, Derek Alexander from a channel, or I think a channel. He changed his channel name to Stop Skeletons from Fighting. So, okay. yeah, he, right. he he still does great reviews though. But yeah, I 
miss the HVGN. Yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, the you know, Angry Video Game Nerd isn't as popular as it used to be, and I get it, you know. Oh, but oh look, Dominion Rod. All right, I got the power back. The Dominion Rod, if you know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> Actually, I have no clue what I mean. I don't <laughs> understand sexual innuendos. <laughs> he, has, he has... His rod has Dominion. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Mine too. <laughs> Shut up, Beavis. You don't have... You don't have a dominion. <laughs> Shut up, bud. At least I got a rod. <laughs> You're a Nimrod. Oh! Operation Nimrod. Yeah. All right. So now that we got the power back in the dominion rod, we're going to use it to see if we can communicate with the sky people or get take to the sky or whatever in part 26. Until then, God bless and take care. Give me sky cake. <laughs>